Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see how to publish the process in the orchestrator, how to configure the robot, and how to deploy the robot in remote desktop machine, that is virtual machines. So let's open UiPath Studio. We will use our existing process which we have created doing our pay challenge solution. Open the main XAML file. So this is the process. Now to publish the process in the orchestrator in menu bar there is an option called publish. So with the help of this we will publish our package to into the orchestrator. So we'll click on publish button. Then one of the window gets up here and we'll simply say publish here and click on OK. Now our process has been published, our package has been published to the orchestrator. Now let's open orchestrator. And that is platform.uipad.com. Yeah, and uh, we need to go to the Rahul default service, which has been created already. So before that, I will I would like to uh, show you. So when uh, when we register for the community creation by default, we will uh, we will get few uh, robot here that is attended robot, unattended robot, and studio. So we will get the uh, licenses for five robot for two on two attended robot one unattended robot and two studio robot now go to the process service yeah so this is the yeah so this is the basically ui path orchestrator now to see whatever package we have published so to see that package we can go to the package under management section there is an option package and we will see <coughs> our pay challenge rdp that is two minutes ago that we have deployed this package now to configure the machine so before that we will open our remote desktop machine which I have created on Microsoft Azure platform okay yes <coughs> yeah our remote desktop machine is getting started Yeah, the machine has been started. Now, to configure the machine in orchestrator, we will see here machine name. So, to got the machine name, I will just open command prompt and then name this is the Rahul VM 
the machine name is remote desktop machine name is i'll click on add button and i'll schedule i'll create one standard machine here i'll giving the name rahul vm yeah so i'm um, uh, this is the way we can create uh, uh, or configure the machine here first step is now another step step is we need to create the robot and we'll associate that robot with this machine so for that we will create click on add button we will create one standard robot and from here drop we will see whatever machine we have configured that is appear here we will select that machine we will name it again that is rahul vm and here we will uh, we will select unattended so we will configure here unattended robot now uh, domain name and uh, we have to provide here username and password so to get the uh, username uh, so we have to provide username and password for that we will see the username of the machine for that we will type the command in command prompt in remote desktop machine who am i yeah this is the my machine this is the my use domain name and password domain name and username and our remote desktop login password create yeah so in this way we can we have created the unattended robot here now for that robot we have to configure the environment as well for that we'll go to the environment section and i have already created uh, some sample environment so we'll configure uh, with this robot with test environment one so for that we'll click on and then go to the manage and then we will con select that robot and click on update now here you can see the environment is associated with our robot now <clears throat> so in this way we can configure the machine robot now after that we have to create the process so we will click on add button and then we will see the package here whatever package we have deployed the same package we will select here that is rpa challenge and then we'll associate the environment as well we will associate that test environment one because our robot is already associated with test environment one and then create this is the way we can configure the machine configure the robot and create the process here uh, and associate that process with the environment now again we'll go to the machine and we will configure the robot in the remote desktop machine so for that we will go to the remote desktop machine and type ui path robot yeah and click on robot here you can able to see the robot now this is the uh, we haven't configured anything so that's why it is showing as an offline now we'll go to the setting orchestrator setting and then here we have to provide orchestrator url and machine key so now from where we'll get the machine key for that we have to go to the orchestrator go to the machine <coughs> And click on edit so this is our machine key so we, we will copy this and 
paste it here and orchestrator url so we'll con we'll copy this orchestrator url that is and we'll paste it here and we'll click on connect Let me check what exactly is the happening here. I should keep up it. Then yeah. Now we have configured our robot as well in remote desktop machine. So we have make uh, configure our machine key, whatever robot we have created in the orchestrator, and we you can able to see the status is connected and licensed. We will we, we'll close this so you can see now uh, the <coughs> status is connected and licensed. Now we will go to the again uh, orchestrator and we'll simply trigger our job to the remote desktop machine. For that, you can click on start, go to the job a section, and then you can click on start then select the process that is and then you can select the robot or and then click on start here you can able to see now the status is pending we have already triggered the request on let's see here <clears throat> it is still pending let me, let me delete this now it is running you can able to see the status has been changed to running Yeah, our process has been triggered in the remote desktop machine. You can able to see the browser has been opened and now the robot start the execution. Here we have scheduled, uh, created an unattended robot. Yes, you can able to see here that process is running in Yeah, it has been success now you can able to see the state is successful yeah in this way we can uh, configure the robot on a remote desktop machine and will trigger the execution on the remote desktop machine uh, we'll trigger our process on the uh, remote desktop machine now we can create a trigger here where execution or process will invoke automatically based on our configure parameter now we'll create a trigger here we'll name it rtp then we'll select the process rp challenge rtp uh, time zone here we have to select time zone plus 530 DC, yeah and what we'll do every uh, two every minute we will trigger this execution so we will click on add yeah so our trigger has been configured now 
every one minute this process gets started on the remote desktop machine so you can able to see here if you go to the jobs then you can able to see yeah so process has been triggered here you can able to see yeah it is running let's go to the yeah so our execution has been triggered automatically now and it will have it will trigger every one minute so based on our requirement we can schedule these both yeah execution is going on if if i can minimize this rdp as well so nothing has been happened and the the boat doing their work there yeah you can see <coughs> so yeah this is the best part if you minimize your rdp machine as well the process the board triggered the process in the rdp machine yeah, you can see i have minimized twice but nothing has been happened yeah in this way you can schedule the in this way you can schedule the execution or deploy the boat in the remote desktop machine yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching